President William Ruto of Kenya has once again ventured into the realms of international affairs just weeks after a heated exchange with Sudan over their internal struggles. The generals in Sudan are bombing everything. They are bombing roads, they are bombing bridges, they are bombing hospitals, they are destroying airports, using military hardware bought by African money. Just imagine. We need to tell those generals to stop the nonsense. Which even resulted in a cyber attack on Kenya's government websites by Sudanese hackers. Ruto has now directed his attention to West Africa's Niger. The government and the people of Kenya earnestly urge all parties involved to refrain from further escalation that might jeopardize the lives and livelihoods of the people of Niger. During a press release that left the world buzzing, Ruto took aim at Abdurrahman Chani, the architect behind the recent military coup that unseated Niger's democratically elected president, Mr. Bazoum. The Kenyan leader passionately condemned the coup as an unconstitutional change of government, demanding the immediate release of Niger President Mohamed Bazoum, who is allegedly being held captive following the Wednesday coup. The Republic of Kenya joins the rest of the world to condemn in the strongest terms this unconstitutional act that subverts democracy through a coup d'etat and calls for the immediate release of President Mohamed Bazoum, who is reportedly seized by members of the Presidential Guard. Ruto, never one to shy away from the grand stage, also invoked the spirit of unity within the African Union. He pointed out that the coup in Niger contradicted the very essence of the AU's Constitutive Act, which unequivocally condemns and rejects any unconstitutional change of government. This fundamental norm is crystallized in Article 4P of the Constitutive Act of the Africa Union, which unequivocally condemns and rejects any unconstitutional change of government. Displaying his nation's unwavering camaraderie, President Ruto offered a helping hand to Niger in resolving any internal conflicts provided it received the African Union's blessings. Kenya's gesture of support towards its West African brethren has been met with a cacophony of opinions, both supportive and skeptical. A myriad of Kenyans took to the internet to voice their views on Ruto's intervention in Niger. Some online commentators hailed the president's proactive stance, applauding his willingness to stand for the democratic values and uphold the principles of the African Union. They saw it as a testament to Kenya's commitment to promoting stability and unity across the African continent. However, a faction of netizens expressed their concerns, fearing that Kenya's involvement might expose the nation to economic and security risks. Quoting a poignant Metume proverb, one Twitter user advised Ruto saying, You don't rush to put out a fire at a neighbor's house when yours is on fire. We just experienced a deadly protest and the political temperatures are very high. Let's fix our country first before we offer to fix others. Another user echoed the sentiment, cautioning Ruto to treat carefully on foreign affairs. He kerehere ya uyu jama idatuletea shida siku moja. Leave other countries alone to do their things. Shugulika na shida zako. Another Twitter user added saying, William Ruto should stop taking corners, let him go to Nigeria, at least the closest country to Niger, and condemn them from Nigeria, not in Kenya. He didn't say anything about Sudan, but he's busy condemning Niger. Undeterred, President Ruto continues to navigate the treacherous waters of international diplomacy. While some Kenyans raise their eyebrows at his bold maneuvers, others find inspiration in his determination to be an active player on the global stage. What are your thoughts about Ruto's sentiment? Leave your thoughts on the comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's be next time.
Bye-bye.